And with invasive species, swimmers itch, and weeds in the waters, we enjoy the lakes, of course. But associations are working with DNR officials to minimize our environmental impact. Valley News Team's Macy Anger looked into how one of the most popular lake destinations in Minnesota checks out. John Hunt and his family are from Bemidji, visiting Lakes Country for a wedding. Kids are loving it. Splashing into Detroit Lake doesn't bring too many worries. This is certainly um, one of the better lakes in the area where we allow our kids to swim and, and we feel safe with them in the water. How clean are the lakes around here? Well, it depends on the lake you're looking at and what you want to call clean. Nuisances like swimmer's itch, invasive species, and lake weeds surface every year in many of the lakes. That's why DNR officials and lakeside homeowners gathered to discuss ways to combat it. The vast majority of the new AIS infestations are reported by our citizens. They're informed, they know what to look for, and they know how to report it. Detroit Lakes has been on the upswing to being cleaner and cleaner every year. A quarter of the people who come out to Detroit Lakes to boat and swim are from out of state. Officials and homeowners say that's where education is key. It only takes one or two careless people that don't pay attention and they can bring a problem into a lake in a hurry. The Lakes Association says it's leading the way in keeping lakes free of nuisances. I have a lot of friends who are from Detroit Lake and they say they, they've swam in it many times and never had an issue. Welcoming news for summer visitors. Yeah. In Detroit Lakes, Macy Inger, Valley News Live. The Minnesota DNR says boaters will start to see invasive species patrols out at public access docks. Rules and regulations are on valleynewslive.com. Just click on this story.